There's a tournament being held at the Colosseum. I hear that's great reward for the winner. Yeah. All right, second tournament talk then. Because it seems like the game really wants me to go and do the tournament stuff. Now I guess a trade-off here is that um, I could just grind the tournament until I beat it and then cut out the attempts. Which makes sense to me. And it would actually, actually like, you know, it, it would make the, uh, the content more interesting as well, I would assume. Because, you know, they're not just watching me get my shit pushed in for, I don't know, 30 episodes. Did we ever beat the Phil Cup? I don't think so. So yeah, we'll see how things go. If uh, things go particularly bad, then I'll, I'll I'll let you know once once I have decided to uh to cut my losses and just go ahead with grinding off screen <laughs> using this place. So yeah, uh, while we do this, I suppose I should talk about something, but I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> like this is the this is the uh thing with let's plays is that you need to fill time but like all right i can talk about my uh my academic life why would you give a shit about that uh similarly for my personal life like i would rather not <laughs> videos i mean you you know <laughs> you know my schedule for the videos i'm pretty sure by this point because uh all right i'm gonna ruin the fun i'm gonna uh break the immersion so this is being recorded in uh, like near the end of January. This is the 30th, I think. Yeah, January. By the time you're seeing this, it's like July, the end of July, I think. Maybe later. It's been an hour, so yes, probably later. And so yeah, by this point, you probably are aware of of uh, all that I'm doing. But yeah, as, as of this recording, my plans are beat the game. On recording, which is what we're in the process process of, then uh, I'll get on making a review. I'll rewatch this entire playthrough and uh, look at my notes, all five lines that I have written thus far. And once that has that has uh, been done, I'm gonna write write the review and and hopefully publish it by the end of March. That's the power of the keyblade. And once that's done. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's a couple of games that I uh, I want to review and thus might get the same treatment because, you know, this is a good way to make sure that neither of my channels are just dead in, in the in the back. But yeah, uh, I guess a couple of games to shout out that I want to do this thing with uh, now don't expect these to be anytime soon as in you know and <laughs> that's the thing like to me don't expect the, these things to happen to me anytime soon the, these might just happen concurrently to this playthrough like in the, these things some of these things might be going as we speak on this channel <laughs> but yeah some of the games that I've been thinking about doing this thing with is uh Dust Elysian Tale is one that's a game that I've, uh, I've been meaning to review for a while, but never had the, uh, the right setup. The reviews never... Like, I have made, like, four versions of, of a review on that game, and none, none of them felt right. So, hopefully this time, with uh, all of the... Uh, bother of getting the, uh, the notes and recording the playthrough and all that, maybe that will help. Uh, let's see what else. Dragon's Dogma, the first one. Which that's still weird that I have to specify it now because yeah, Dragon's Dogma will not happen anytime soon. As in that might be a thing that will <laughs> concur to this, but if so, I, it, that will have been at least three or four months between this game and that game because I would rather not do 
do uh, like fairly involved RPG playthroughs. Not to mention that like Dragon's Dragon, I, I'm playing this game on hard or even you know, the hardest difficulty that it has because the uh, the hardest difficulties are completely rebalanced instead of just being a push the, the number up, you know, more spongy enemies and shit. Dragon's Dagma uh, doesn't seem or didn't seem like, like it suffered from the, from that issue either, but at the same time, I would rather I, like, you know, it, uh, the time when I had tried playing the game on uh, on its hardest difficulty, it didn't seem to change the, uh, the balancing as much as I would have liked for, me, for it to be more fun to me. So that one we might just, oh, the cops over, cool. So yeah, that one we might just play on easy and just be done with it because you know, like that's the that's one of the things with uh recording these these things and <laughs> right, that's, that's the power of stairs. Fucking hell! <laughs> I never thought you'd do it. Not bad. Still, you're just as stubborn as ever. Don't pretend you're happy for them. Ahem. Now, kid, you've still got a long way to go. The next round's starting soon. Next time it'll be the real thing. Alright, then now I can go through all of this again, but just alone, which I should do. So, yes. Oh, Dragon's Dogma and, and Dust, and like most other games that we'll be doing on this channel, we'll probably be played on easy just to save me time, because, you know... <laughs> If I if I truly want to challenge, then uh, then I will go for it. But like, other, otherwise, I don't see how wasting more time on it just to get the thing out is then beneficial than ninety percent of these games I have already beaten once. Like I am not seeing anything new. And of course, there's there's things where that's not true. Like that will make cry. If, if I if I play Devil May Cry, well, for one, Devil May Cry doesn't have a difficulty selector as much. I mean, it does, but it doesn't, at least for the first playthrough. Like it, it, it makes you play it through a normal. So, you know, if if I record it, record my first playthrough of it, like I have, like I, I am planning to eventually, then it won't have a problem of you know me playing it on easy or not because yeah the game makes you play on a certain difficulty Assassin's Creed games once again do you know that <laughs> okay <laughs> I was speak out of line here but the good ones <laughs> don't make you decide your difficulties <laughs> oh, I might get some comments from that But yes, so you know those those games don't don't uh, SE for difficulty. I'm pretty sure Metal Gear doesn't SE for difficulty. I mean, these aren't necessarily games that are uh, that we'll be playing through on the channel. Just throwing the shit out to to be like, hey, you know, sometimes it's out of my uh, thing how I experience it. Either which way, yeah. So. Playthroughs will happen. Yes, Dragon's Dogma very was like the list. Uh, what have I been thinking of for a while? Because there's a couple of games, like these two, the uh, Dragon's Dogma and Dust are two games where I beat them. But okay, Dust less so because Dust I let I first played when I was like 13. And I wasn't even doing the reviews back then. But that eh, maybe fifteen, whatever. <laughs> Point is, uh, that playthrough was pre-review, so I wouldn't have even thought of uh, reviewing Dust. But Dragon's Dogma definitely, I beat it. I played through it once. I, I might have played through it twice. I forget. I definitely played through it once. And I went. You know, this is a really good game, I need to talk about it eventually. But every time I think about making a review on Dragon's Dogma, I just go, RPG. And then that, that's that, that's where the, uh, the the production begins and ends. Because, you know, this game, I, I believe I've talked about this, this game is an RPG, but it's... And like, you know, 
uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is sort of an action RPG in the sense, like, both of these are action RPGs, but Kingdom Hearts is a lot more action, a lot less RPG. Dragon's Dogma is a lot more RPG, a lot less action, comparatively. And so, like, you know, I like both of these games very much, but I don't, like, uh, I would usually go, okay, yes, 500 hour Dragon's Dogma play too. <laughs> okay, then, what else was I planning on? Uh, so on this channel, Last of Us was a thing. Uh, I'm not doing a review of that on that because I, did, I wrote no notes. I have decided. And also just like, I don't... Like, I, I like... It's this thing that I like streaming Last of Us. I like, you know, being able to uh, interact with people and make the jokes and stuff like that. I don't like The Last of Us. It's very mediocre. <laughs> as, a, as a video game and as a story and... There is nothing that really pulls me in for for it because I hate zombies as a as a concept. I think they are trite and overdone. And the Last of Us does nothing interesting with them. But even if it did, I'd be like, all right, like why don't you do something that's not zombies? <laughs> then again, sometimes the uh, that just kind of uh, go, goes the other way as well because like Resident Evil Eight has no zombies. Which might surprise some of y'all, but Resident Evil 8 has no zombies. It has werewolves, it has vampires. Now the reason that no one knows that it has no zombies is because the werewolves and the vampires work 98% the same as the zombies. <laughs> to the point where like the one guy I saw the playthrough just straight up called them zombies and I mean, he, was he wrong though? It, yes, technically he was, but... If, if the shoe fits. Combo plus, yes. No. Hell no. <laughs> okay, can Sora equip combo plus? Probably not. No. Is there anything that I can... Just disregard. No. That sucks. I don't, I don't have an AP, AP up, do I? No. Okay. Well then let's go do the next one. I might just have to cut shit. <laughs> As it turns out. We'll see, but you know, whatever. This will hit someone. I'm sure of it. Other games right there. Like my my instinct is to is to get out of this game and check, but I shouldn't do that. But right, I guess let's talk about other games that I haven't had the time to actually play or the chance to play because of time stuff. No more heroes. No more heroes will be a thing. Like I will play through it for the first time on this on this channel, and I will probably review, review it after that. Which no more hero heroes is in a similar position to a uh, Kingdom Hearts where. I've been a fan for a long time. I just never played it because I never owned a V. <laughs> and honestly, that's kind of all of the reasons. Like, n never owned a V, never owned a PlayStation 3. And yeah. So now I've got it on PC and we'll, we'll do that eventually. Uh, Max Payne 1 and 2. Not my cup of tea, but whatever. We'll. Like, <laughs> Shooters in general are, are not generally my thing, but at the same time, uh, Max Payne does have the uh, the uh, bullet time stuff, and that's cool. And it does seem to have an interesting story, from what from what I understand. I'll probably like it. Who knows? Bully eventually. That game, like 
Bully, you can you can know that as like Eddie will never play this. Not because I don't want to, but because every time I think about all right, what should I hit up? I think of like five other things before Bully, and that's a pretty good uh, way to know that that I will always forget. I will never remember Bully exists, even though it's in in my. That was a waste of MP, but anyway, yeah, even though it's in my game library. 